we got a little business to take care of at this point. For those of you that were here last week or last show, Big and Jason Jackson decided to stick their nose where it does not belong. You like them? I'm not sure if they don't belong there. I mean, Commissioner Casty's. Well, this is going to be for you guys then, apparently. I got a little uh, info for HR Nightmare. Who likes Vig? Everybody like Vig? A lot of people like Vig, it sounds like. Well, Vig's suspended tonight. He's not going to be here. Suspended for You're what? welcome. I saved you guys that god-awful match you'd be putting on out here. So with Jason Jackson, they won a number one contendership of the tag titles last show, correct? But because of their actions, this is what's going to happen. Jason Jackson is going to defend that number one contendership here tonight in a handicap match. He has to do it by himself because his partner couldn't pull his head out of his ass long enough and just sit in the back and let us do what we had to do. Tag titles. As you saw, why, Chip, why? Why? Because no one cares about Tommy Purr, that's why. A lot of people care about Tommy Purr. These tag titles are now vacated. More shenanigans by Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien, ladies and gentlemen. Please shut the hell up so I can finish, you retard. We have kids in the audience, Commissioner. So... We'll create... A number one contendership with the Jason Jackson beatdown. We're going to need another match. The only other tag team I can think of at the point in time is 801 District. Who likes them? Yeah, you guys would. Wear your helmets tonight because you guys need them if you like 801. But I'm getting tired of 801, so uh, I'm going to throw a couple guys together going against them. The winner of these two might get a shot at these titles. How about that? You guys like that? Oh, am I talking too fast for the rest of you? Yeah, we like it. I will talk slower. You guys are fucking, come on, get with it. Wow, Commissioner Cassidy not exactly on the right side of the fans tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's getting an earful. Manny Fresh, last order of business. Everybody like what happened to Manny Fresh? I don't think so. He was screwed and everybody knows it. Excuse me, sir. This is not the trailer court. Keep your voice down. No oh one cares my. what you have to say. Come on, Commissioner. Manny Fresh does not deserve to hold the world title. Okay, the UC title. He doesn't deserve to hold that guy's jock strap, even though that guy would like that. Manny Fresh was a great champion. So, Manny Fresh, you deserve what you got. And maybe you will start listening to me about things. And quit playing the good guy. No one cares about your legacy. No one cares about respect. No one cares about any of that. A lot of people care about that. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Deacon of Doom here. And there he is, the former UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion, Money Manny Fresh. Legacy, desire, and dream. That is what he is about, ladies and gentlemen. And he comes to take her microphone straight from me. I'm excited to hear what the former champion has to say. It looks like Chip now. Oh, no. An insult to the former champion. You're the bodyguard now? You're the man now, right? What do you think you're doing out here? No one cares what you have to say. Go to the back. That's the whole reason why I'm out here, Cass. No one cares what I have to say. I believe these guys over here care what I have to say. A few of them over here care what I have to say. A few of them over here care what I have to say. I think the whole thing comes down to you. I think this thing is a jealousy issue, to be honest with you. You're jealous with the fact that you and I come from the same place. We come from the same background. And the fact that my star's on the rise and your star burnt out, is that what, is that what this is all about? Last time I checked, my star had burnt out. I'm your boss. <laughs> oh, my. You're right. You're, you're the guy with the suit. I expect... Fans now letting Cassidy O'Brien have it. Now you're the one in charge. I expected this from old man Slick wherever he's wandering around in this arena, but not you, man. The fact 
fact is, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, to get my damn title back. You got a match tonight, don't you? That's right. So I'll take that title, walk home with it, and prove I am the best at what I do, okay? I like the odds that you're not winning that title. What? I can't even hear you. What'd you say? Wait a minute. We've got more company, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like coming to the ring right now. Cassidy O'Brien, the commissioner, Chip, and Manny Fresh in the ring. And here you hear the music. The man from the insane asylum himself. One half of the reign of insane. He is Bronson. A Nazi-esque march to the ring. He's got a few words of his own, and here he comes. Hey, Manny. So I'm hearing that once again, that tonight you're going to win the title. <laughs> That's right. Well, guess what, buddy? Your favorite psychopath is in that match tonight. And your point? My point is... How, how many is times have I beat you? How many times have you and I gone back and forth? Wait a minute now. That's what I thought. Next, please. The past doesn't matter. Because tonight, not only is Kane going to keep the Ultra X Championship, but tonight... I am going to take the title from you and from that little douchebag, Dante Acosta. Wow, strong words. Tonight, that the reign of insane will take over, and you will all realize that there's always been a method to the madness. <laughs> and yet another visitor to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. This is professional wrestling. And that's the UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion himself, the newly crowned heavyweight champion, Dante Acosta. Of course, you might remember how he won that belt from Manny Fresh to Salt Lake City Screwjob, to say the least. Dante Acosta held tag team gold. Now he holds the ultimate championship here in Ultra Championship Wrestling. I want to clear up something with you. Dumbasses, we talked about this. Shut the hell up. I want you to think you have that title because uh, I'm looking out for you or anything. Okay? Here's the deal. Triple threat match in the main event. We have one goal. This piece of shit doesn't come home with the belt. Do you understand me? Wow, strong that words. That happens, you both are fired. Wow, strong words from Commissioner Cassidy. If Manny Fresh comes First away. First of all. Dante. Thank you. First of all, please give me my glasses back. Yeah. Oh my, come on. Champion Dante Acosta being told to pull his pants up by the crowd here tonight as he puts those freakish glasses on and looks First like- First of all, Manny Fresh, I already beat you. I made you tap out. Everyone saw it. Everyone knows you tapped out, so uh, Back away, back away. Oh, come on, that's a bit of a stretch. Boston, I don't know where the hell you came from. Why are you even out here? You've been losing. You're a loser, buddy. Unlike me, who wins? Fair and square, I'm a winner. Uh, you better tell your kid to shut up or I will. Oh, come on now, you can't bring kids into this. Conduct unbecoming of a UCW Zero champion, to say the least. And Dante Acosta has this That's crowd. That's what your girlfriend said last night. Oh, please. Please, Dante. To your point. Right, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of these fans not respecting me as the new UCW Zero heavyweight champion. I'm sick of you disrespecting me. I'm sick of you disrespecting me. So uh, do me a favor. Get out of my ring. You Before earn. I hurt you later tonight. You earn respect in this company, Dante. Yeah, walk away. You back away. 
Manny Fresh, interestingly, getting out of the ring. And so That's now right. it looks like. You know who the man is. You know who the man is. So Dante Acosta asked a former champion, Manny Fresh and Bronson from the Insane Asylum to leave the ring so that he can celebrate his champion, his championship reign. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah. At the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. The following contest is a handicap match for the number one contendership to the UCW Zero Tag Team titles. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 350 pounds, Tyron Pace, Carson Jacobs. Tonight at 205 pounds from Pucka, Tamarada Hall, Jason Jackson. Well, it looks like uh, we're going to have a two on one handicap match. Jason Jackson's here by himself. Ah. These two jokes in the ring. <laughs> I can't believe I wrestle on the same card as these fools. There you are, Deacon. Finally coming back to do your job, huh? What the heck's going on here? I'm being now joined by, well, I guess you took over my broadcast position, the UCW Zero champion himself, Dante Acosta. I guess I want to say uh, welcome to the broadcast booth. Uh, yeah, thanks for the warm welcome earlier. You should have announced me as one ton of beautifulness and amazingness. Well, we've got, I don't know what the, how to announce you anymore, young man, but this is what I'm going to say. We've got great action here tonight, a handicapped tag team match. Jason Jackson taking on Tyron Pace and Carson Jacobs for the number one contendership to those belts. So, so red pants over here and the tangerine-looking kid. Wait a minute. Jason Jackson now yelling over to our, 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 re, our bell keeper. When I feel like ringing the bell. Referee Brian now calling for the bell. And here we go. Jason Jackson now going to. So shut up, Deacon. This what? is so disrespectful. He shouldn't talk to his champ like that. I will ring the bell when I'm ready. Well, you are the champion. That is true. But the rules are rules here in, in professional wrestling. And now it looks like uh, Jason Jackson with a nice arm ringer on Tyron Pace. But nice reversal by Pace. So uh, who's this kid? Like it's Tyron Pace, champ. Red pants? No, the the red pants. Yeah, the red pants. <laughs> and who's the tangerine-looking kid in Don't the corner? Don't call him a tangerine, an oompa loompa, orange crush. That's Carson Jacobs. All right. And hey, wait a minute now. Jason Jackson just slapped down to the ground Tyron Pace with some kind of authority. And now Jackson picks up Pace, gives him a nice bolo forearm, shoots him off. Irish whip. Nice reversal by Tyron Pace. Pace now over oh. the atomic drop, champ. Oh, man, he can actually do a drop that kick. That kid got up. Nice drop kick. you got to be <laughs> impressed, champ. You know He's what's funny? Watch. What's funny is I would do it 10 times better. I don't know about 10 times better. Sure, you've been around you're a right, lot You're right. You're right. You're right. 20 times better. 20 oh, times. Be wow. Oh. Belly to back suplex, and Tyron Pace is feeling it right now, That was a gentlemen. nice move. That was a nice move. It I'll give him that. It actually was, and now you got to wonder if Tyron Pace is going to be able to tag. There's the tag. It looks like Jason Jackson wants Carson Jacobs. No jokes, please, champ. <laughs> Uh, I would want to wrestle that guy, too. I could crush him in two seconds. Uh, two seconds? It takes three oh, seconds. Oh, look, one, 
two. It See, I would have beat him already. It takes I would have beat him already. It takes three seconds. Do you, you, you're not. Uh, a great I'm so awesome that it only takes two seconds for me to get a three count. I'm going to ask you to be professional out here tonight. I know you're the champion. I know you have the belt. You have the gold. But come on, a little. You, you need to be unbiased to be an announcer. Jason uh, Jackson with a sorry champ with a chop on Carson Jacobs. Now shoots him off to the turnbuckle. Here comes Jackson. Oh, nobody home. He missed. <laughs> He missed. Nice opening oh now gosh. for Carson Jacobs. Jacobs with a DDT. He's could, got some moves. It could be it. Two count by the referee, and it's only two. See, I'm not unbiased. I'll give him credit. That was a nice move. I would have done it better, but he did a nice move. I've never seen you hit that move. Well, I've... Oh, my God. He just killed him. I have seen Jason Jackson hit that move several times. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. It is over. <laughs> Jason Jackson is your winner. Red Pants was too scared to do anything. He just stood there. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Jason Jackson. Well, Dante Acosta, an impressive win tonight by Jason Jackson. And you've got to think now that they have he and Vic Vig, the HR Nightmare, have got to be considered for that number one contendership to the UCW Zero titles. You know, that's true because he just did that by himself. If he had Big Big in his corner, I'd be scared, but not that scared because I'm the UCW Zero champion. Well, you indeed are the champion, a former tag team champion, and now it looks like you've got the gold around your waist, but that man, Jason Jackson, is up for gold himself, folks. We'll be right back after this commercial break with more wrestling action live in Salt Lake City. It is Retribution 2016. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah. At the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. The following contest is for the UCW Zero Women's Championship. Introducing first, the former champion, she is Paradise. Paradise, uh, of course, lost the title last show. I'm not surprised, because uh, we got some good talent coming out from Colorado. like she's got a new outfit on. I don't know what those gloves do. They don't have any grip on them. What I like to do when I wrestle is I like to wear gloves. I get a good grip when I wear gloves. That's why I'm the champ and no one else is. And ladies and gentlemen, Introducing whoa, 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 Deacon, Deacon. Oh, who's this? Deacon. You must be suffering a little bit of the concussion after that beating you caught last month. Especially if you think I am going to let you introduce the women's champion. Let me show you how a pro does it. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you from Denver, Colorado. She is the queen of the Rockies and your DCW Zero Women's Champion, Angel Trinity. They've got great athletes over there in Colorado. This is one of them. This is why she's the UCW Zero Champion. Women's Champion. 
I should say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're live here in Salt Lake City. Deacon to do alongside my broadcast partner, surprise broadcast partner, the UCW Zero champion, Dante Acosta. Women's title on the line here tonight. Former champion, Paradise, going against the new champion, Angel Trinity. Oh, nice roll up. It could be over. Just a two count. And now nice front face lock by the former champion, Paradise. She is a great wrestler, not the biggest opponent in the ring, but she has got a lot of heart, ladies and gentlemen. Nice rollover now, I'm reversal. I'm surprised she hasn't gotten stepped on yet. What do you mean stepped on, champ? Because she's so small. That's, she uses it to her advantage. Maybe you've watched some of her matches. Are you too good to watch women's wrestling? Is that what you're saying? Uh, Are you sexist not. now? Of course not. You're I sexist. watch women wrestle all the time, if you know what I'm saying, Deacon. Oh, please. That's ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, great match here tonight. It looks like Angel Trinity now picking up the former champion, Paradise. She takes her into the turnbuckle and now slaps her in the face. An ultimate insult. Oh, nice, nice crucifix pin, but a rollout by Angel Trinity. Looks like she was ready for that. She rolled right through it. Once again, right back to that front face lock on Angel Trinity. Of course, that cuts away a lot of the oxygen. A legal move, not a choke move here in UCW Zero. A takedown. Oh, and wow. another takedown. These two opponents are going for gold tonight, Dante Acosta. Something you know a little bit about here in UCW Zero. <laughs> I know a lot of it about that. I'm actually, I'm actually a triple crown winner now. Triple crown winner? What are you talking about? I've won three championships here in UCW Zero. Well, I'm not sure if I'd call that a win. That last championship belt, I don't think it was, it was a screw job and you know it. <laughs> I knew nothing about any screw job. Paradise sends Angel Trinity out of the ring. Nice scissors lock to the head and now, wait a minute, now JV in front of, in she's, front of Paradise. She's trying to assault a non-competitor. What is she doing? Well, he's gonna be a competitor pretty soon if he doesn't get out of her way, that's for sure. Oh, so it's okay to assault a man because he's in your way? Is that what you're saying? He's got no business getting in between these contestants tonight. You know that and I know that, Dante Acosta. Come on. Oh, and then she threatened to hit the man. He's not even defending himself. He's acting like a little sissy. That stupid mustache he has. I not like his mustache, actually. You like that? I like that. Oh, wait a minute now. Paradise reaching through the ropes, and she's got Angel Trinity, but a hangman by Angel Trinity on Paradise, and Paradise falls right back into the ring. Paradise got it, had it come into her. She was pulling her hair, trying to get her in the ring. That's well, against the rules. She was trying to have a wrestling match, champ. That's what she was trying to do. You can't wrestle outside the ring, and now Angel Trinity continues to assault Paradise, draping that neck over the second rope and planting that knee. Now look at JV over there. Do you he's see just, that? He's just getting fair revenge for being threatened by this woman. She never touched him, and look at the way he treats her. Are you telling me you condone violence against women if you're a man? Answer the question, champ. Um. Exactly. Two count by referee Brian, and Paradise kicks out of that one. Angel Trinity now seems to be getting a bit frustrated, not able to pin the former champion. Nice firing back by Paradise. It all kicked right back down to the mat. Angel Trinity, I have to give it to her. She looks like she is the more determined than ever Ooh, nice tonight cartwheel. to keep that belt. Nice car roll, but she took her down. Oh, and there is that takedown by Paradise. And boy, did Angel Trinity plant her oh, face up, in that roll man. Up. Roll up. Two, oh, almost had her. Two count on Angel Trinity. And now she goes right back to Paradise, picking her up for a, a body oh. slam. Wow. Good technique. Again, a two count on Paradise as she kicks out. I guess you're going to tell me you'd kick out in one or even before I the ref got down? I would kick out at negative one. Thank you very much. You are pretty confident in yourself, champ. That's for sure. I am. That's or, why I'm the champ. Or should I call it cocky? <laughs> it's not cocky if you can back it up. We'll see if you can back it up later tonight. That's for sure. And now it looks like Angel Trinity hooking up Paradise oh, nice for another suplex. snap suplex. It was, champ. The two count again, but that time it was like two and a quarter, it looked like. You know what I gotta say? She has great technique with her suplexes and body slams, but her pins, uh, they're a little, little shady. If I was in there pinning her, she would stay down. Not because she didn't want to win, but because she wanted me on top of her. 
Nice reversal flapjack on the former champion, Paradise. And now she is wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that Submission looks like that hurts. move. That looks like that hurts really bad. Submission move by Angel Trinity. Folks, this could be it for the women's title. But wait a minute, she rolls her up. Oh, a two count on the champ, and she kicks out. And right back to the attack is Angel Trinity on Paradise, pounding away at the, right the lower kidneys. lumbar region. Right in the kidneys. Well, I call it the lower lumbar region. I call it the kidneys. And I'm right because I'm the champ. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. You want to talk about wrestling or wrestling? It is right here in Salt Lake City. Dante Acosta, and thank you for joining me tonight as Angel Trinity delivers that knee to the midsection of Paradise. And she is hurt, folks. She looks like she is hurt. And now, come on, JV. This is just ridiculous. trying to help her up, and he tripped. Oh, wait a minute And then now. she knocked his glasses off. She knocked... She just knocked the glasses off of JV. She's a dirty player. I don't think he's happy about that. Angel Trinity now throwing Paradise into the ropes. Looks like she's going to go for, I don't know what, maybe a Samoan drop. I can't really tell. Nice elbow by, by Paradise. Oh, and a backcracker. Oh. A backcracker on Angel Trinity. That was a nice move. Folks, that will take its toll, if not put you out for the count. I'll tell you what, I know at least 100 different types of backbreakers. I've never seen that one before. I'm going to use it. And I'm going to do it better. Sounds like you know everything tonight, champ. I do. Thank you. And how Thank long you have you known everything? Uh, since I was born, actually. Oh, brother, please. When I was a baby, I was dropped into a pool of awesomeness. Dropped on your head into a pool of awesomeness. Wow, now look at this. Paradise continues now to go on the attack on Angel Trinity. Nice reversal by Trinity. Paradise oh. up and over. Let's see what she's got coming. Big nice. kick to the stomach. Ooh. Oh, DDT. Wow. And it looks like this could be it for the champion. Could she regain her title tonight? Here she is. Kick out again by Angel Trinity. Paradise seems like she is not happy with this. Not at all, ladies and gentlemen. She wants that, she wants that gold back, and she wants it badly. You know what I just realized? What's that? She's blonde now. Of course she's blonde. Oh, my goodness. Wow, right to the face. Good night, I read. See you later. We have got a new champion here tonight. Wait a minute, JV. This is ridiculous. Come on, referee. The referee had to see that. He just pulled his... JV just pulled Angel Trinity out of the ring to stop the count. That was going to be a three count. Um, she was hurt, and he was just protecting his client. Thank you. Referee up to the three count now. I'm not sure what he was doing, but this is ridiculous. It looks like they're walking away. They're not walking away. They're recouping. Colorado so cowards is what I call them, champ. They couldn't handle Utah tonight, that's for sure. JV no, with that look, stupid Colorado. They're on the way back right now. That was a fast count by the ref. That was a fast count. Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner via disqualification. She is Paradise. Couldn't get the job done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the former UCW Zero Women's Champion Paradise comes up with the victory tonight. Unfortunately, in my estimation, not the belt, though, as Angel Trinity walks out on this one. Folks, we'll be right back after this commercial break for more wrestling action. I'm the Deacon of Doom alongside the champion himself, Dante Acosta. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah. At the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Jason Bravo! Jason Bravo is a very impressive competitor here in UCW Zero. He, long, 
He has held the championship for the record, the longest time in UCW Zero history. And he's got backup now with Andrew Sowell. Looks like something's wrong with his eye here. I don't know what it could be. Looks like he's got something to say here. If I can have everyone's undivided attention at this time and listen to what I have to say with a kind heart and an open mind, I know that tonight I was supposed to be wrestling Blitz Rogar, but I regret to inform all of you that is not going to happen. Because over the New Year's holiday, I somehow contracted a severe case of conjunctivitis. Now for those of you who are uneducated or dim-witted to know what that is, that's, that's pink eye. Now, I... I have seen every single doctor in this state, every single medical staff in Bravo Enterprises, and I still, am I still, and my eye has still not cleared. So, because of that, my trusted physician, Dr. Watanabe, has written an excuse, and I have talked to the commissioner and I will not compete tonight. Show them, show them, show them. It's a, it's a real note. I assure you that is a real medical note. Here comes Blitz, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like he's ready to compete, but uh, unfortunately, Bravo, like he said, has pink eye. Probably got it from the filthy people here in downtown Salt Lake City. Now, Blitz. I know that we were supposed to be wrestling tonight, but obviously, as you can see, I can't compete. But listen, we can do this one of two ways. You can compete tonight, but it would be against Andrew Sowell. The big man, Andrew Sowell. the second choice, Fans here saying easy win. Um, I disagree. Bravo Enterprise. Once again, Jason Bravo. Now, I know, I know, I know that we got up to a, to a rough start, and things things didn't turn out the way they should have. But let's let's call it a clean slate <clears throat> and accept my offer, and together. Let's take down UCW. Don't do it, Blitz. Do not do this. Um, did he say take down UCW? Yeah, that means you, champ. Hold on a second. Jason Bravo now extends that hand once again toward Blitz, but I don't know if Blitz is going to take it. Let's see. No, he takes the eye patch off and oh, slaps come it. Come on. That I was disrespectful. I love it. I love it, champ. 
What a great move by Blitz. You know, it was kind of funny because he said he was going to take down UCW. Take but him out, me. Solo. Take him out. Are you kidding me? Well, an, imp an impromptu match not on the on the card tonight. Andrew Sowell versus Blitz. And it looks like there's the bell. This is going to be a match, ladies and gentlemen. Two big men in there. Of course, Andrew Sowell coming in at about 281 from Los Angeles. And, of course, we all know Blitz at 241 pounds. And right here in Salt Lake City, the first UCW Zero champion. And there's Sowell from behind. You'd think Come a better on. one would be able to keep his eyes open. Well, you know, you got to think that Blitz has got two opponents here tonight. I'm no, talking he about so well in the ring and Jason Bravo outside no, the ring. No, I, I don't believe Jason Bravo has conjunctivitis. I believe that he does, and I, Blitz just disrespected him. Nice clothesline by Sowell. He's a big man in that ring, and you got to think that he's one of the guys, champ, that might just be coming after you. Um, yeah, um, no. <laughs> Wow, what a power slam by Sowell on the almost equally as big blitz and a kick out on two. You got to hook the leg there, son. No way you would have gotten up from that, champ. I don't think so at 281, or would you have? <laughs> I would have kicked out, like I said, at negative one. And now it looks like Sowell right back on the attack on Blitz. Shoots Blitz off, and he hits that turnbuckle pretty hard. Sowell now with a big clothesline into the corner, and Blitz finds himself right on his derriere. And Andrew Sowell seemingly has this match under control right now, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's funny you say I wouldn't kick out, but I'm too quick for these guys. They wouldn't catch me in the first place. Well, you are a pretty quick guy. I'm not going to lie to you. Wait a minute. Sowell, your buddy home. Oh, jeez. Shades of... Uh, the late Yokozuna, but nobody's home, and now Blitz is going to take it too. At least I think he is the big man. He's got him up. Atomic oh. drop. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, that move does not feel good. And once again, he's going up one more time. Another oh. atomic drop. Gosh. And Sowell's going to have to have an adjustment at the chiropractor later this week, folks. And now Blitz kicking to the side. Looks like the kidney area. Another kick to the... To the, it looks like the calf, and now he's attacking with forearms, legal I might say, on Andrew Sowell with a big, big elbow in the he's corner. He's beating him down here. He certainly is. That wily veteran blitz. He's been in a few matches, you might say, and this is a big one right here in Salt Lake City. Bravo Enterprises is being taken under. Wait a minute now. Shoots him off going for the Bulldog, but nice reversal by Sowell, and he splashes him once again in the corner. Sowell now shoots Blitz off and up and over by oh. Blitz. Look at Whoa. the athleticism. That's 241, champ. That's really athletic, but I could do like five of those in a row, so it doesn't phase me. Bulldog, two, and I kick out by Sowell. Five in a row? Uh, actually six, sorry, I miscounted. I think you might exaggerate, champ, but you've been doing that for a lot of years now here in UCW Zero. That's not what the ladies say. Oh, wow. Look, wait a minute. Blitz has got, what's he doing now? Picking up so well. So well, again, he's two, he's pushing yeah, 300. For the, going for the belly to belly. Oh, and a headbutt. Nice headbutt by so well. He sends, he sends Blitz back to the corner, and he is rocking. It looks like that the Bravo Enterprises have this thing wrapped up, at least in their minds, but I have seen Blitz come out of more of this, and that's what I'm talking oh. about. Big boot right to the chin. Wow, sends so well back for sure. Oh. And now, wait a minute, Blitz going off to the top. Oh, he's going for a choke, it looks like. Looks like he's going to try to choke Blitz out. You mean Andrew Sowell. Excuse me, Andrew Sowell. I'm a Blitz is the guy choking him out, you fool. I make mistakes You're sometimes. getting too old to do this. I'm not too old, all right? Yeah, I could be your dad a few times over, but... I've been, I've been watching wrestling longer than you're alive, and now Blitz with that sleeper hold. you got to think so well it's going to go down. But wait a minute. What's he doing? He pulls the ref in. Oh, my goodness. Look at Blitz assaulting the ref. What is he doing? He couldn't get the victory, so he slams himself into the ref. Over 600 pounds goes crashing into the referee. Now, Bravo, folks. Bravo just handed. Uh, we saw it. He just handed him. The, the, oh, wait a minute now. That's a crowbar he handed him. Uh-oh. Blitz has got the crowbar. Referee sees Blitz with a crowbar in his hand. Come on, ref. Just... Take it away. He can't win, so he's thinking about using the shortcut. And now here goes Sowell for the – now Blitz goes over Sowell. Folks, the action is quick and fast uh -oh. here. He cannot get Sowell up. A second time he tries to get Andrew Sowell up. And I could have done it on my first try. Oh, yeah, I doubt that, champ. Wait a minute now. What's he going for? A kind of Texas Cloverleaf? Uh-oh. 
Looks like he's going to tap here. Oh, Bravo. Wait a minute. Come on, ring. referee. Get Bravo out of here. Get Bravo out of there. He's tapping out. Folks, there you see it. Andrew Sowell is tapping out. Jason he's actually, Bravo. He's actually clawing in the mat, trying to reach the ropes. He's not close. He's tapping out. And now Blitz gets up. He's got to wonder what's happening here. He goes over to Bravo. Get out of here. Folks, there it is. Oh, he just threw him out. But, but Sowell's got the crowbar. Sowell has the crowbar, the ladies crowbar. and gentlemen. He's got the crowbar because Blitz. No, 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 no. Referee, come on, no. Blitz now knocks Sowell back in the oh, drop geez. kick on Sowell. Blitz carrying. He's dragging Sowell What's to the he middle. Doing here? What's he doing here? Wow, oh, what goodness. a move by the heavyweight. Come on, Ralph. <laughs> you know, if the ref. If the ref was smart, he would have seen the crowbar and understood that Blitz might have used it. Smart or not, Blitz outsmarts them all, ladies and gentlemen. And Blitz is your winner over Bravo Enterprises, and more specifically, Andrew Sowell. Luckily, that crowbar oh, was hey. not used. And again, he takes the eye patch off of, Bl off of uh, Jason Bravo. Folks, this is getting heated up. Once again, Bravo Enterprises demanding that Blitz join them. Blitz once again says no. Uh, he didn't demand, they asked, and Blitz, Blitz was very rude and didn't just say no like a man. I'm not sure if he was rude. I mean, he just he declined the He poked the, the man offer. in the eye with an eye patch. I wouldn't touch that eye if he truly has conjunctivitis, that's for sure. And now Blitz uh, helps Andrew so well this out of just, the ring. Just disrespectful. Attacking a man after the match is over? I've never done that. Never. Well, they've disrespected Blitz over and over again. And folks, you got to think Bravo Enterprises and Blitz Rogar are going to hook up one more time at least before this feud is over. Folks, we'll be right back with more wrestling action after this commercial break. We have got a triple threat match once again featuring Jason Jackson. Oh, it looks like um, looks like Chip came out and assaulted Blitz from behind. He only deserved it though because he kept going after Bravo's bad eye. I can't believe it. I thought we were going to commercial break, but there's Jason Bravo burying that crowbar into the midsection of Blitz Rogar. This is ridiculous after an attack by Chip. I guess you like this, champ, huh? Um, maybe a little bit. It would have been better if it was me doing all that. Somebody gets, needs to get their tail out here. No, no, no. Oh, oh my, my God. gosh. He's going to impale him with that crowbar. Will somebody stop the madness of Jason Bravo and Bravo Enterprises? No, no. Blitz had the chance to walk away, and he didn't. He kept Blitz. asking him for a fight, and he got one. He was walking away. Folks, we've got a terrible injury here tonight. Jason Bravo has gone beyond ridiculous. I mean, he's picking him up now. What is going on? No, 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 no. Oh, oh a power slam. Gosh. Nice move by Sowell. Andrew Sowell showing that tremendous strength and power that he has. And Blitz Rogar, folks, I'm not sure if he'll ever wrestle again. This is this has got to be addressed by Commissioner he's, Cassidy. He's coming back for more. He won't get out of the ring. He's Blitz still... Rogar continuing to fight. I cannot believe this. Somebody... Will somebody stop this damn thing? 
Champ, get in there, do something. Me? Don't do this, Bravo. No, my God. Did you just say I yeah. should go in there and do Somebody something? have some decency in this damn company. I've got a match later. i got to save my energy, thank you very much. And Blitz Rogar has been annihilated, ladies and gentlemen. He asked for it. He has been annihilated by Bravo Enterprises with a help with a crowbar. And now look at Bravo. This is this has gone too far, damn it. It has gone too far. If Blitz had just walked to the back when the match was over, it wouldn't have happened. He was walking to the back, and there you hear that the music of Jason Bravo, folks. Just when you think the action's over, it continues. I'm afraid to go to commercial break right now, champ. Why are you clapping? Because uh, I respect Bravo's competitor. You respect Blitz Rogar? You ought to respect him. Oh, um, yeah, Blitz too. Yeah, woo, let's go Blitz, yeah. The guy just got his ass beat. Folks, think, watch your language. This is a, P, a PG show. We have kids in the audience tonight, champ. Folks, you saw it right here. Bravo Enterprises with a crowbar annihilating the former and first UCW Zero champion Blitz Rogar. Hey. But I'll tell you once, I'll tell you twice, if there's any man in this company who can come back from a beating like that and exact some revenge, it is Blitz Rogar. Hey, uh, Deacon, he just got his ass beat. Folks, we'll be right back after this commercial break. I apologize. I apologize for Dante Acosta. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah. At the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucwzero.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. following contest is a handicap match for the number one contendership to the UCW Zero Tag Team Titles. Introducing first, from Pocatello, Idaho, weighing at 205 pounds, he is Jason Jackson. Uh, yeah, Jason Jackson here again. He's got another match, but uh, I would, I'd be able to wrestle three or four matches if I had to face the types of opponents he did earlier. Stick boy in the orange. Uh, he just threw a water bottle my way and it hit me in the feet. I, I take that as a and his as an insult. Opponent this evening. Weighing in at 237 pounds from Mexico City, Mexico, Guerrero Azteca. This is a big man right there. Very impressive size-wise. Not as impressive as a wrestler. Otherwise, he would hold this gold that I'm holding right here. And introducing his tag team partner for the evening, weighing in at 221 pounds from Austin, Texas, he is Dallas Murdoch. This guy right here is a tough son of a gun. I didn't want to swear because Deacon will just nag me again like my grandpa does. And I'll tell you what, I have a lot of respect for this man right here. Looks like Jason Jackson doesn't have any respect at all, just getting in his way. All three of these men, very intimidating, but uh, not as intimidating as I am. You know, it seems like it's always about you, Dante Acosta, isn't it? When has it not been always about me? We've got three great athletes in the ring tonight. Wait a minute now. It looks like, uh, hey, at Guerrero Azteca and Dallas Murdoch just shook hands. And there's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Jackson, a handicap match. So Jason Jackson 
Talk scrap to me, and then he cheap shots Dallas Murdoch. Well, we've got an incredible match tonight. Three great athletes, three champions in their own right. Nice Japanese arm drag by Jason Jackson shooting off Murdoch. Oh, and a back elbow drive, Jason Jackson. A funny thing about arm drags is there's one from every country, and you know what? I can do every single one of them. From you, ever heard of the, you ever heard of the Russian arm drag? No, I have not, champ. Maybe I'll whip it out tonight and show you. What do you got, the uh, Ethiopian arm drag, the Qatar arm drag? Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Have you ever heard of the, um, uh, the Dante arm drag? Nice bridge up by Dallas Murdoch, the toughest SOB here in UCW Zero. The former bar fighter himself now hits the ropes on Jackson. Jackson now hits the ropes and comes Ooh, on him. top. Murdoch's got him up, though. Series of elbows by Jason Jackson sends Murdoch reeling, but oh, there's the big, big boot. boot. There is that big boot. You have felt that on more than one occasion, haven't you, Dante? Um, actually, I never have. You know why? Because I'm too quick. Uh, I believe I've seen you take that boot before. Never. Nice, nice back elbow by Guerrero as Texas. Excuse me, Azteca. Excuse me, ladies what? and gentlemen. What are you smoking, Deacon? I'm not smoking anything right now, all right? Right Guerrero now? Azteca. Oh, so you admit that you smoke something, huh? Guerrero Azteca, the That's king of the That's very unprofessional. Will you let me talk for once tonight, champ? Actually, I will. Go ahead. You act like this is your show. Go ahead. Well, I'll take a drink of your Diet Coke. Thank you. Guerrero Azteca, he is the, uh, mm. of course, works the strong style wrestling right out of Mexico. He's a, a big-time competitor, former champion here in UCW Zero. And when he drops those big banana chops on you, you're going to feel it. And the fans love to see it here in UCW Zero. But he is really now working on Jason Jackson. And here comes Dallas Murdoch. you, you got to think this. The cards have been stacked, and they're not stacked in Jason Jackson's favor tonight. Well, if he was smart, he would actually bring a tag team partner, but he's not. It's called a handicap match, thanks to Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien, unfortunately. You probably like Commissioner Cassidy as well, don't you? Well, more or less. I could have won the championship last month without his help. Well, at least you admit you had some help. Nice. Oh, I thought Dallas Murdoch. The Murdock only thing he helped with was my confidence in myself. Well, now you got to think enough about you, all right? got to think that uh, Jason Jackson, he's all right, this is his second match of the night. Dante Acosta, really, it's his like his, second Really, match. it's like his first match because the people he wrestled earlier weren't anyone. They're professional If athletes. you wrestled a stick in a goddamn orange, would you... Would you, would you call that a match? Uh, I don't know what I'd call it, but you know what? I'm going to call the action in the ring tonight, and Dallas Murdoch Maybe continuing to exact some punishment on Jason Jackson with a big, huge Texas-like chop you know, on chop, the chest. Chop should be outlawed. Outlawed? If hit, if hit hard enough in the chest, it can stop your heart. Well, that may be true, and now Dallas at least, Murdoch. At least Guerrero Azteca should be outlawed. You know, Guerrero Azteca and Dallas Murdoch letting the fans have it tonight. They don't care about anything except making sure that they're in line for those tag team belts. Jason Jackson fighting with his life right now on behalf of the HR Nightmare. Big Vig has been, been suspended, and now it's just Jason Jackson representing those two. Ooh. What an athlete, that Jason was a nice, Jackson. Nice double back elbow, except for I would have added three backflips before I hit it. Oh, please. You're not that. You're a good athlete, all right? Thank you. In fact, you. you're a darn good athlete. But three backflips? Uh, yes, three backflips and a front flip. Jason Jackson now taking it to Guerrero Azteca with a nice legal forearm to the side of the head. And he's got Azteca, and he chops Azteca in the chest. Little payback by Jason Jackson. Jackson now, big elbow right to the nose of Guerrero Azteca. Knee firmly planted in the back of Guerrero Azteca. And he's got that rear chin lock. And Azteca now fighting this off as he grabs the face of, hey, of Jason Jackson and breaks the eyes. He only broke the eyes because Jackson had his fingers in his mouth. He was fish hooking him. Blatant illegal move by Guerrero Azteca. And Jason Jackson. I don't think so. I do. And I'm the champ. Wait a minute. Back oh. body drop. Wow, did you hear that? I would have landed on my feet. Oh, yeah, you would have? Yes, I would have. I'm not sure about that. Now, here comes the pin by Guerrero Azteca. Two Ooh, count. Kick, just kicked out. Just kicked out. Two count, and Jason Jackson in his second handicap match here tonight. Essentially, Jason Jackson has taken on four men. Oh, a flapjack by Guerrero Azteca. Want to know something, Deacon? Yeah. I can take on five men. I don't know about that, all right? You got your work cut out for you later tonight in Guerrero Azteca. You're right. You're right. 
I can't take on five men. I can take on ten women. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize once again for my broadcast partner. You will be getting a call or an email from the FCC with your language here tonight, your insinuations here tonight, totally uncalled for. And now Dallas Murdoch, why are you looking at me? Just call the match. Dallas Murdoch now with that chin lock right back on Jason Jackson. Folks, these two veterans working the back and neck of Jason Jackson. Smart move. I mean, you incapacitate the back. Uh, you, you aren't doing anything. And now here comes that sidewalk slam by Dallas Murdoch. Nice we have seen nice it a move. million times. Ooh, just kicked out. The, the, the count looked a little slow to me. And Dallas Murdoch thinks it might have been a little bit slow, too, as he challenges referee Brian. See, I'm not the only one. You think I'm delusional, but I'm not the only one. Jason Jackson now gets picked up by Dallas Murdoch. Let's see what Murdoch's going to do here. Oh, boom. Wow. Big move. Wow. And that, folks, I think is going to be it. You know, Jason Jackson is a great athlete, but he's taking on he's taking on two of you. See, oh. now he kicked out. Hit he him with kicked that, out. Uh, te Texas tornado move there. As I was saying, Jason Jackson is a tremendous athlete. I got a hard time believing tonight, Dante Acosta, that he's going to be able to finish off two of UCW's finest in Dallas Murdoch and Guerrero Azteca. And he is being beaten down right now by these two incredible athletes. If he somehow manages to win, I'm going to think, I think he should be drug tested. In a second. Oh, wait a minute now. Jackson, I think, reversed it. Oh, he it. caught him. He caught him. Boom! Samoan drop by Jason Jackson, sending Dallas Murdoch that, reeling in pain. That was actually an angled suplex. Call it right, a Samoan drop. You have your arm through the legs and your arm around the head. I stand corrected, two ladies and gentlemen. Two totally different techniques. Well, the same punishment is felt by Dallas Murdoch, to say the least. He comes crashing down to the mat, giving Jason Jackson a little bit of breathing room and maybe some space to try to to gather himself right now. But again, now here comes Guerrero Azteca, the fresh man once again. Jackson, though, playing possum. Oh, caught him with a calf kick. Nice calf kick. Oh, and a, and a flying big... punch. Jackson now backing up to Azteca into the ropes. Reversal by Azteca. Ducks the line. Goes oh, underneath. Big slam. Belly to back by Jackson. I'm not sure if he has enough strength left to even try to pin Azteca right now. Well, if he did, he should have done it two seconds ago. What an incredible show of testicular fortitude here tonight. And I think he just yelled something at you, champ. Oh, oh. there's the big boot. It's over. Yeah, he shouldn't have done it's that. It's over. Wait a minute. He oh, landed on top of Guerrero Azteca. What the heck? He landed on top of Guerrero Azteca. You're Ladies and count. gentlemen, here is your winner, Jason. Jackson! That shouldn't have counted. It wasn't an intentional pin. Did you see that, champ? I did, because I was paying attention to Jason Jackson talking crap toward me. A stroke of luck puts Jason Jackson in the HR nightmare as the number one contenders for the now vacant UCW Zero Tag Team belts. I cannot believe what I just saw, Dante Acosta. You know, it's easy to get lucky in a match. I think that was luck. Yeah, let's talk about your match last month. It was more than luck. You're right, it was all my skill. You screwed yourself into the championship with a lot of help, that's for sure. Jason <laughs> Jackson, folks, is your winner here tonight. He survives not one, but two handicapped tag team matches. And he will walk out of here victorious. And I'm sure he's going to call big big and let him know the big news folks we'll be right back with more wrestling action after this commercial break br ultra championship wrestling zero utah's best live pro wrestling action in salt lake city utah at the ucw training center 47 south orange street Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. The following contest is for one fall. Introducing first, 
UCW Zero's only deaf athlete, ladies and gentlemen, weighing in at 242 pounds from the Bronx, New York. He is Howie Alexander. And here you see Howie Alexander making his way to the ring. He can't hear a thing, but the crowd showing their appreciation in sign and vocally here tonight. Letting Howie see the appreciation. He's going to have a huge task in front of him with Morgan tonight. And his opponent for the evening, accompanied by Tommy Purr, UCW Zero's original diva, Morgan! He, and Thomas Purr coming out with Morgan. This might be the only relationship he has with a woman in his life. And Deacon, even I have to admit, it's really cute that they got the matching outfits and everything. I think they're calling themselves the Reservoir Dogs. In Reservoir Dogs, you had five guys fighting over who got to be Mr. Black. In the Reservoir Do Dolls, you have two girls fighting over who gets to wear pink. You know what? There are certain things I love about this job, and I love when I don't have to sit beside you, even if it's just for a minute when I'm doing the announcing up in the ring because, quite frankly, I'm sick and tired of you putting down my state. I'm sick and tired of you putting down great wrestlers like Howie Alexander, and I'm sick and tired of you talking to me the way you talk to I, me. I didn't say a single bad thing about Howie Alexander. I was talking about Thomas Meow and Morgan over there having their matching outfits. Intergender match here tonight. Tommy Purr on the outside, UCW Zero's original diva. She's back with us tonight. Always a fan favorite, Morgan, but another fan favorite here tonight, Howie Alexander. And wow, he's taking it. I'm not sure the fans like this, JV. I, I don't, I wouldn't either. Like, this is, I mean, yes, it's sanctioned, but I mean, a man going after a woman like that, generally not going to get uh, much uh, love from the audience. Of course, you want to talk experience. You want to talk about wrestling acumen and knowledge. You want to talk about somebody who's been around the business for a very long time and knows her way around the ring. That's Morgan. Don't be surprised, JV. Even though Howie Alexander is probably twice as strong as Morgan, if she finds a way to pull this out tonight. I, I don't. I don't know if he is actually twice as strong as Morgan. I, I, Morgan is one of the most well-established women wrestlers in the Intermountain region in the entire country, as you said, and she definitely has the strength to back it up. Yes, Howie Alexander will have a strength advantage. That's just simple. That's just simple biology there, but if Morgan continues the attack like that, strength isn't gonna matter. Absolutely, she is. Well, she's delivering, as we say in the business, a little bit of shoe leather to the side of the head of Howie Alexander, and he's reeling in pain right now, and Morgan seems to be in full control. Let's see what happens. Howie Alexander backing up, and now Morgan with a foot in the throat of Howie Alexander. And it's definitely not the first time Morgan has had control of a male opponent. Um, I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to there, but I don't think I appreciate it, JV. Again, a family show here. This is the great state of Utah, JV. I don't. I still have yet to see what's so great about it, other than it's women's champion. Well, we're, and she's not even from the state. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I apologize for my broadcast partner tonight. Clearly, not calling things the way I see, not seeing things the way I see them. See, and you cut me off earlier when you were talking about UNLV. I'm a UNLV dropout. That makes me twice as smart as a University of Utah oh, graduate. Please. Three times smarter than a BYU Cougar and four times smarter than anyone stupid enough to go to Dixie State. Oh, come on. That, you cannot degrade the quality of our higher education here in the state of Utah. It's wonderful. Now, Alexander with a big clothesline on Morgan. There's that strength again, and she... Alexander's got Morgan up oh. with a big power. Wow, sidewalk and, slam. And that is what Howie Alexander's going to have to do. Don't worry about getting the crowd applause there. He could have had the three there. He was too worried about getting the applause that he can't even hear. Good point, JV. He's, 
He, I've, I've said it over and over again, though. He hears with his eyes. I mean, yeah. he and sees he, things that you don't see because he can't hear. He's a great athlete. And he can feel the vibrations, as we've said before, the vibration of the crowd. He definitely feels that, even if he can't hear it. There you see and Tommy Purr. And he definitely Purr, felt that. The scorned love, former lover of Chip, Tommy Purr, on the outside of the Smartest ring. Smartest thing Chip ever did. Amazing, amazing decision on his part. How's your head, by the way? My head is, took a little bit to heal. I'm, I, I had a, a few stitches uh, at, at the ER that night, a slight concussion. As they say, I was concussed. Is that how they say it, JV? Yes, you were concussed. But more importantly, I worried about Tommy Purr. I called him several times just trying to reach out to him as a, as a man of the cloth just to make sure he's okay. Oh, poor Thomas. Poor Thomas Meow crawled back into his little kitten box made out of carpet or whatever with his litter, started drinking milk out of his saucer. Listen, if anybody can come back from that kind of emotional devastation, it's Tommy Purr. Talk about devastation. Allie Alexander and Morgan are just delivering shot after shot to the side of the cranium and, of each competitor. And I am surprised at the lack of reservation Howie Alexander has with, with swinging those forearms at Morgan like that. It is actually a really good competitive advantage for him there because you would have to think that Morgan would think that someone would be apprehensive about hitting her. Howie Alexander showing he has no problem doing that tonight. Wow, and Morgan just delivered a DDT. Folks, it is over. It is over. That DDT dropped dead twice. That's all it takes to get the victory. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, UCW Zero's original diva. She is Morgan. Don't you look over here, Purr. Don't you look over here at all, Meow. Why Folks, would you give him the microphone? I didn't give it to him. He just came and grabbed it. I mean, he's a... Wait a minute now. Morgan calling for the music to stop. She's got something to say. Got lucky, Howie. Next time I won't be so ladylike. Now let me put all the boys in the back on notice. The original diva is here to take on every man in that locker room. Wow. You got a problem with that? At least she's smart enough to so, stay out of the women's division. I trained most of those boys in the locker room. They are Michelle Morgan guys. Wow. You know who is the ultimate Michelle Morgan guy? I'd buy the t-shirt. That one right there. Tommy Purr. Tommy Purr. I don't know if you can and call And if guy. you're not a Michelle Morgan guy, we got a few words for you. You can't bump with us. But you know who's definitely not a Michelle Morgan guy? Do you know who definitely cannot bump with us? That is none other than the guy that we all want answers from, especially me, Chip, or whatever name he's going to go by these days. Everyone wants to know why Chip, why? I want to know why Chip, why? Because I spent the last month going through my head. What could I have done differently? What did I do to Chip to make him destroy the happiest day of our lives? To make him attack Michelle Morgan in front of her daughter, Deacon of Doom in front of his wife and his son, attacking Paradise, powerbombing her straight to hell? <laughs> what could I have done differently? So you know what? I'm tired of questioning myself. Everyone wants to go, new year, new me. No, 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 no. New year, old me. I'm going to go back to who I was before I met Chip. Chip, thank you for reminding me of, me of who I used to be. The bitch is back, Gentlemen, and the bitch is coming for your ass. Oh, my. I want answers. I deserve answers. Tommy Purr is back. Get because we're going to fight. Wait a minute. Tommy Purr is back, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't the Tommy Purr of the new year. This is the old Tommy Purr. The bitch is back with Michelle Morgan, but wait a minute now. Yeah, well, tell Elton John or someone who cares. Here comes Chip and Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien. Ah, oh, look at this, the happy couple. Shut off the music, come on. Yeah, let's see how well you do when my back is not turned. Let's see how well you do when I'm actually paying attention and we're face to face. I, be I better walk away. 
Yeah, you better walk away. He laid you out last time. He jumped him last time. So all of you, did. first of all, first of all, all of you can kiss my gay ass. I don't care what any of you have to say. You already bought your ticket. Shut up. I want answers. Wow. Speak. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, oh, you, you don't want to speak. You got nothing to say now. You're so vocal all over social media. You got nothing to say? I got something I want to say. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It's on, ladies and gentlemen. And come on, it's a two-on-one, Cassidy. Chip and Reagan, Tommy Bird. you get involved one more time, you ain't going to like what's going to happen to you. Well, first of all, you ain't going to be able to feed two children because you're going to get fired. Next, I might have a couple guys come from the back, beat your little ass, huh? You just sit there. Folks, it's getting out of hand right now. Tommy it Purr. It is pandemonium, and Tommy Purr is getting it handed to him by Chip again. Chip pounding away on Purr. You're exactly right, JB. Hit him, hit him once for me. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's this right. This has got to be enough. He just took the, the knee out of Tommy Purr. He's got those cowboy boots on as he's stomping away on Tommy Purr. Yeah, he's stomping the mud hole and walking it dry, as a famous man once said. Come on, Chip, one more time. Do it again. Two yeah. shows in a row. Chip is annihilating Tommy Purr. Cassidy told Morgan Go to the back. if she gets involved, she's fired. Showing everyone, you watch this? You showing watch everyone demise, huh? why the tag like team championships bloody, were it. around their waist for so long. Chip did all the work. Chip was the only one in the relationship doing anything to keep it afloat. That's why he did what he I did. I don't think so. Come on. No, no, no. Come on, guys. This is ridiculous. Oh, yes, yes. I want to hear it pop. Get the camera up there. I want to hear it pop. Somebody get out here. Somebody get out here. Tell the cameraman to get closer. I want to hear it. Wait a minute now. Here comes the NOS hey, district. Hey. Here comes the district. What Send the hell back. are you two doing out here? Back Send it up. Back. This is not your fight. It's between these two. He deserves this. Yeah, he does. Tell him, Cass. You know what? I'm getting tired of you guys thinking you can just come out here whenever the hell you want. I'm getting tired of you running your mouth on my show. You get a match tonight. How about that, Tommy? Wait what? a minute. Wait a minute now. You get now. a match tonight against Jason Bravo. Yeah. yeah. And um, how about this? How about this match? Starts right now. Get a ref out here. Wait a minute now. Yes. A kind of miraculous healing. It looks like Jason Bravo's conjunctivitis. Involved one more time. Hey, you get you get that earth myosin in there. You Where? get that earth you myosin in, in there. It takes care of everything out here. Nobody heals that fast, JV. Where's the pink eye, Bravo? Where's the pink eye? This is ridiculous. Ring the bell. Well, an impromptu match tonight. Jason Bravo taking on the already injured Tommy Purr. And what does Bravo do? He goes right after that knee of Tommy Purr as he drops his entire weight on top of Purr. Just like any smart wrestler would. And Tommy Purr has got to be ready at all times. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this impromptu matchup. Tommy, Wa Tommy Purr is getting the justice he deserves right now. The beating that should have continued last month is continuing now. Tommy Purr was scorned last month and again this month. And quite frankly, this is disgusting. I cannot believe the shenanigans of Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien. I cannot believe the brutality of Bravo Enterprises. Thank God that Los Mochi Paco and the incredible Junior X along with UCW Zero's original Diva Morgan, they're out here to provide some kind of support. But Cassidy has told them, don't get involved in the match. And which means they should be back in the locker room. Uh-oh. They should be back in the locker room if Cassidy told them to not get involved with this match. Cassidy and Bravo Enterprises. Cassidy is a commissioner. He can have whoever ringside he wants. Are you oh. kidding me? A testicular suplex, JV. And Jason Bravo's on the outside of the ring, but wait a minute. So well, he's right there. He's and got that big bear hug 
on yeah. Tommy Purr. Yeah, that's right. Get it out of him. What, what, did, what did he just do to Andrew Sowell? I don't know what he did, did he, but Sowell quickly exited I, the ring. I think he kissed him. I think he did too. Well, oh, bravo right I've back at that knee. I've never been so sickened in my life. That's sexual assault. He's been assaulted all night long as Tommy Purr, and it's about time he fought back, and I'm proud of him. Uh, fighting back with sexual assault? Really? Really? You're going to advocate that, and you're saying, I'm the evil one? I'm just saying Tommy Purr's got to do something to get these damn dogs off of him here tonight. And Bravo continues to badmouth, continues to attack that knee, that right knee of Tommy Purr going after it, continuing to go after it. And there yeah. he is again. Come on, tear all, the, tear all those ligaments. Jason Bravo now goes for the pin. And Tommy Purr kicked out. And that was just stupid. Tommy, you could have just taking the pin and live to fight another day these two are good these guys are going to dismantle you now you should have just stayed you should have just stayed down tommy not smart not smart at all jason bravo again takes that knee out and you got it you you're probably right jv those ligaments have been stretched if not torn and there's jason bravo placing that that knee precariously on that bottom rope, and they're so well once again. Finish that knee off, Andrew. Come on. And Chip is right there, too. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen. Commissioner Cassidy pacing around the ring like a rabid wolf. He's got his guys out there. Now Bravo going for the pin again. This should be it. Another kick out by Tommy Purr. Tommy, Tommy, you're being stupid, Tommy. For once, I might agree with you. He was assaulted viciously by Chip. He had little to no chance of winning this match because of Chip's behavior, because of Cassidy's behavior, and now because of Jason Bravo's brutality. You're being stupid, Tommy. This little lover's tiff isn't worth your career. Oh, good God, he drops the knee down on top of Tommy Purse, already injured leg. Taking out that whole right leg. There you see the knees, the ankles, all of it. Folks, this is getting ugly. Tommy Purr may never wrestle again, and I would not be surprised. Oh! Wow. Tommy Jason Purr Bravo. may not use that right leg ever again. Going for yet a third pin here. And again, a kick out by Tommy Purr. Tommy. At this point, even I'm concerned, and I could care less, and I couldn't care less about Tommy Purr. And even I'm concerned at this point. Now he's taking the boot off. That that there's going to be so much more flex to that ankle now. This this has got to be it. This has got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. The 801 District calling for Purr to dig deep down. The original diva doing the same thing. It's the fans now. It's not going to help. You're giving him stupid advice. He is going to lose his career. Purr holds on, grabs the bottom rope. The referee telling Bravo to break the hold. Admire the tenacity, but man, when is enough going to be enough, Purr? Well, I'll tell you one thing. I have never seen this kind of heart by Tommy Purr. This is not the 2016 new Tommy Purr. This is Tommy Purr returning to his roots, what put him where he was. And Tommy Purr will fight and fight and fight. Uh, he, he is a feisty bitch, as he would call himself. But, Bravo but now. But Jason Bravo is about to take all the fight out of him. This, this is going to be a superplex. This has got to be curtains. And how? How? How is he fighting back? I do not know how he's fighting. He's kissing Bravo! That, that was disgusting. That's got to be illegal. That's like biting an opponent. And he blows a kiss to Chip. What's Tommy doing now? He's on that second rope. DDT on Bravo. No way. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. It's got to be over. No, good God. Come on. And now Chip's stomping away. This is getting out of hand. Chip continuing now to pound away. That's right, just lay the beating down. Just, yeah, just lay the beating down on him. 
I don't know what the heck Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien is thinking right now. I don't know what's going on in Chip's mind. I don't know what's going on in Bravo's mind. But this could be the end of the career of Tommy Purr. And good riddance to bad rubbish. I don't know how much more Michelle Morgan's going to be able to take. She gets in the ring. Los Mochi Paco in the ring. The incredible Junior X go, now in the ring. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lose your jobs. Lose your jobs, guys. Be... be be morons, be idiots, lose your jobs. Something Come on. has got to stop. And now Commissioner Cassidy throwing down Tommy Purr. But it may be too late, ladies and gentlemen. It may be too late. Tommy Purr's career just might be over at the hands of Cassidy, at the hands of Chip and Bravo Enterprises. Oh, man, that is a very dangerous alliance right there. Yeah, Tommy Purr might be the winner, but listen to whose music is playing. Look at who's still on their feet. Does Tommy Purr look like a winner to you? No, he looks like a victim. I have never been so disgusted in all my years of announcing professional wrestling as I am tonight. The antics of Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien and Chip and Bravo Enterprises is deplorable at best. De I will say that. Deplorable how? How they are playing the game to win, and this is what they got to do to win. More power to them. Folks, uh, I, I might try to take a trip back to the dressing room as soon as this show is over to check on Tommy Purr. Michelle Morgan, you can't see in your monitor helping Purr out, but his knee uh, has been dam uh, excuse me, badly damaged. He, he ain't going to be in the locker room when you get back there after the show. And, folks, we'll be right back uh, if we can do it. JV, Deacon of Doom, with you here live in Salt Lake City, UCW Zero Wrestling Action. BR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah. At the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Doors open at 6 p.m. and bell time is 6.30 p.m. For more information, go to www.ucw0.com or call 801-699-7977. And remember, do not try this at home. We are trained professionals. Leave it to us. We are Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero. Motivational pain. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a number one contender match part two for the tag team titles here in UCW Zero Wrestling. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 360 pounds, the incredible Junior X and Los Mochi Paco, the 801 District. And here you see the 801 District making their way to the ring after sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And that is in Com Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien's business. You see the incredible Junior X. I don't know what's so incredible about him. Yeah, you just keep walking. Don't look at me, kid. Hello, Mochi Paco. They're both making their way through the crowd. These fans adore them. I can't say I agree with them. Not much taste in these folks. They're... And as the Deacon said, this match is to determine the next in line after the HR Nightmare gets their, gets their shot at the Tag Team Championship, currently held by Chip James. Oh, look at him shaking hands. Oh, what a great sportsman, shaking hands. And yeah. their opponents tonight introducing first at 180 pounds. From Priest River, Idaho, Josh Kelly and his partner, William at 21 stones, 
from the house of Valhalla. He is Hunter Gray. And talk about quite the mismatch here. Quite the questionable alliance here between between Josh Carey and this monster of a man. How I, I'm quite curious as to how they're going to make this work. I don't know, but I know one thing: 1987 needs to call and get those shorts back. Coach you know, Martin wants them back. Oh, really? It would see, but those those make him a fit, athletic, talented cheetah. Well, I don't know who this Josh Carey is. Certainly we know who Hunter Gray is. He's been here several times, a big man. Obviously works out. Josh Carey, the coach now, wait a minute. Josh Carey is de definitely a fit man himself. Looks like his game plan uh, just got vetoed by, by Hunter Gray, weighing in tonight at 21 stones, JV. You're very familiar with him. And now Junior X offering his gum to Hunter Gray. Now Hunter has got that spear-like, I don't know what that is, I'm got a dagger on the end of a spear. It's He's got that scimitar, if you would remember what I told you last I month. Don't, what are, you, are you playing D&D again? I'm the smartest man in the room. I'm supposed to know this stuff. Well, I don't know about that. You're a dro college dropout. And now Hunter Gray placing that weapon. Now, Philip, referee Philip Chatwin has got to get that weapon away from from Hunter Gray. This is and how much are they? How much are they paying this guy? It's the end of the year. We should be able to break open the books and see how much Philip John Chatwin is getting paid. Whatever he's getting paid, it's too much. I don't think so. He does a great job for us here, trying to keep some kind of law, some kind of order. And now look at the antics of Hunter Gray once again. Come on, referee, just check him. Just check him. Josh Carey, you know he's. The referee has nothing to check. Those gauntlets are perfectly legal. I've seen they him. Are just now look at that. He, he pulls out two more weapons. He pulled out, what are those? What do you call know. those, JV? Some kind of tomahawk? They're, yeah, exactly. They're tomahawk hatchets. Referee Philip Chatwin calls for the bell. Looks like uh, the coach himself, Josh Carey, takes off that, takes off that whistle. Yep. He's he, going to start off first. He is going to start off first, and Josh Carey is not fit. He is fat. He is fit, athletic, and talented. Oh, nice well, acronym, JV. It's the one he has himself. This is the Josh Carey. He has wrestled for UCW Zero before. I'm surprised you don't recognize I don't remember him. the guy. You haven't been doing your homework then. I, 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 I don't know what else to say. I was on assignment somewhere else. Scouting other wrestlers to come out here. Great talent coming to UCW Zero. Now Josh Carey just blew his whistle. And Josh Carey just blew his Wait whistle. He's, he's getting things started. And he's taking a he's taking off those bike coaching shorts. He's got a pair of looks like red athletic shorts now. Yeah, he's got those red athletic shorts on. And he look at how mobile he is compared to Los Mochi Paco. Los Mochi Paco in those baggy pants is going to have his movement hindered by those pants. Josh Carey has those small tights. He can't. They can't be grabbed. They can't get in the way of his leg movement. I think he's much smarter. And he, you're going to see him get out of this hold right here. Nice takedown by Los Mochis Paco and Josh Carey. Now here he says that Los Mochis pulled his hair. I don't think so. Wait a minute, the whistle blows again. What's well, happening? Well, because he's calling Los Mochi Paco on a penalty. If you would just watch D. Josh Carey, he'll explain everything. He, he, he can't call penalties, JV. Now what's he doing? He's mentally preparing himself. He's he's taking that now. He's taking the red shorts off, and he's got leopard skin tights on. How many layers does he have? I don't know, but we're seeing he's got many layers like an onion. Jungle Boogie Josh Carey in the middle of the ring now. And now Josh Carey, you, you got to think that Los Mochi Paco's a bit confused. I mean, how often do you wrestle a, a wrestler that has this kind of charisma and style? Exactly, and that's what Josh Carey utilizes on top of his uh, 
in his incredible athletic acumen, he gets inside the heads. He remembers that fighting is 90% mental and the other half is physical. Nice takedown by Carey, showing that bicep, but Los Mochi Paco waits in the, in the shadows and a nice arm drag by Paco. It was a nice arm drag indeed and another nice arm drag there from Los Mochi Paco. Nice wrestling but, by the former UCW Zero champ, Los Mochi Paco. His partner, probably the most popular tag team in UCW Zero history, the incredible Junior X, stands waiting for some action here tonight. The 801 District is here, and they're here to stay. And Josh Carey, JV, has got to wonder what's happening right now. Josh Carey is definitely on Queer Street right now. He has no idea what's going on, and he's, try he's trying to get his wits back about him. Josh Carey, though, is very, very, even though he comes from to us from Idaho, he is very, very well versed in the American Lucha style. There is nothing that Los Mochi Paco is going to be able to throw at him that Josh Carey hasn't dealt with before. And here's the, here's the incredible Junior X now, longtime veteran here in UCW Zero. Held pretty much every belt. In fact, he's held every belt that UCW has had to offer. Uh, one of my best friends in the world. In fact, both these two, the 801 District, I, I have the privilege to hang out with them quite a bit. Now, wait a minute. Josh Carey seems to be. He's got to tape his wrist. He's got to tape his wrist. He's, he's got to make sure he is ready 100% to wrestle the 801 District here. This is getting a bit out of hand. I'm not even sure. Who is this guy? Is there really a Priest River, Idaho? I mean, where I've never heard of it. Well, maybe you should take a civics class, buddy. It's a river in Idaho. Josh Carey came from there. Now Josh Carey and X lock up. X now pushing Carey back to the turnbuckle. Let's see if there's a clean break. Now Carey reverses and pushing X tight right back down into the turnbuckle. And uh, hopefully there's a, a clean break. And Junior X comes out kicking. There was, how do you call that a clean break? Josh Carey was giving Junior X a clean break. And then before he could actually do so, Junior X is kicking him in the bread basket. Well, ah. Junior X and Los Mochi Paco want to reinvent themselves in 2016. They told me as much. And maybe that's a part of it. Nice roll up by Junior X. And X now all over this uh, strange, maybe enigmatic character. Uh, Josh Carey. Very, very enigmatic. He knows, he always knows where he is in the wrestling ring, though, as he just exhibited there. And you're talking about this new approach for the 801 district. I'm, I'm all for developing the mean streak if that's what those guys want to do, but. Talk about mean streak. Los Mochi Paco's had He's enough. He's got and now, a wait handful a minute. of hair. Come on. Wait a minute. Hunter Gray now. Trying to get over there. Referee Phillip trying to stop Hunter Gray. And I don't know how referee Phillip Chatwin is able to stop There's Hunter no way. Gray. Yeah, There's you, no way. Hunter Gray is eventually going to roll him over. Wait a minute, folks. I don't know if you saw that, but oh my gosh, Josh Carey just took a huge spill on the concrete. And I don't, JV, I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but Hunter Gray has yet to see any action in this match. That is, that is, in, that is correct. And there you see he finally gets a tag in, and the 801 district is in trouble right now as the fresh Hunter Gray is in the ring, but there you see, he's trying to get chopped down like a tree was Junior X trying to chop down Hunter Gray. Junior X now trying to avoid those club-like hands of, of Hunter Gray coming in at 20. I don't know how much 21 stones is, JV, but it's, it's, it's a lot. It's uh, indeed, indeed, it is a lot. It's well over, I believe a stone is 16 pounds, something like I don't know, but this guy has got to be well over 300 pounds. 16, 16 times 21. What's 21 times 16, JV? Pull your iPhone. At, at, at least 320, uh, 336 pounds. He's not like 336. That. He's got to be at least 300 pounds. Look ah, at the man. come on, I don't know about that. He's certainly well built. He spends some time in the gym, or maybe out in the wilderness picking up stones and throwing them across rivers. I don't know what he's doing, but Junior X had better watch out. Now he made the tag. Here's Los Mochis Paco, but Hunter Gray catches him in midair. Look at the strength of this barbarian. He is a barbarian, indeed, a huge, huge mountain of a man. But Los Mochi Paco using that speed, Hunter Gray has got to be careful here. I don't uh, think Paco, no, come on now, he's a big man. No, no way you're going to get him off, Paco. Not going to happen. Los Mochis Paco, now wait a minute. Oh, they got him up. It took two of them, but look at the biceps. Look at the biceps of Paco. What, what biceps? I don't, I don't see him. 21-inch pythons, he told me, in the dressing room. 
Oh, and Josh Carey breaks it up, but oh my Ooh. goodness, Hunter Gray just threw Paco off like a sack of potatoes. Yeah, and you know, and Mochi Paco almost took off the referee's head there with that kick out. Wise move Very. by Paco to tag out. Now Junior X and Paco double team move. Nice suplex. And this is what they're gonna have to do to get the victory here. They're gonna have to double team Hunter Gray. They're gonna have to isolate him. A true heavyweight is Hunter Gray in there right now. Junior X delivers a couple of right hands to the cranium of Hunter Gray. And Los Mochi Paco and Junior X now shooting the big man off the rope. Let's see what they have in and store. And the referee is just letting the 801 district have their way right now. I could have counted to at least 50, and he's got both of them out there. A huge slam from Hunter Gray makes it all moot, though. And Junior X looks confused. Oh, and wow! Hunter Gray is having his way, if you don't mind me rhyming, with, with the 801 district. I don't mind you rhyming at all. You got to get the tag into the fresh man. Josh Carey might be able to finish things off right here. And you got to wonder if Paco and J X don't want Josh Carey in there. And they very well could, but I mean, it would be poor strategy to want the fresh man in there, no matter how much of a behemoth Hunter Gray is. Now, wait a minute, Josh Carey seems to, uh, folks, I don't know if you can see this or not, but he looked like he was trying to put his coach's shorts back on. But a tag by Hunter Gray, and it really, I think it hurt the hand of Josh I was going to say, Carey. it looked like it hurt Josh's hand there. Big kick to the bread basket. You don't need to use your hand for that. And another huge kick. And these two are utilizing some great tag team offense in their first pairing together here in UCW. Well, I'm, I'm really shocked. I mean, you mentioned JV at the beginning of the match, a kind of an odd couple, if you will, these two coming out. I mean, they, they couldn't look different or be different, but they have shown some some great teamwork here tonight, and there's Hunter and, Gray. And that is the mark of a great wrestler. You go in there, and you are able to work with whomever you are tagged with that night. You guys just build that instant chemistry. That is what being a great professional wrestler is all about. Those vice grips of Hunter Gray squeezing the cranium of Los Mochis Paco. His brain's got to be feeling it. How long can his... Can his skull hold out with the strength of Hunter oh, Gray? Taking the coward's way out, reaching the ropes. Los Mochis Paco, he is really taking a beating, folks. He is definitely, and that is just going to continue the beating. That's got to be it. Two. Two count on Los Mochis Paco, reaching over towards X, but he's way too far. Showing that tenacity that got him the UCW Zero Championship at one point in time. And, he, and now you see the quick tags. Hunter Gray and Josh Carey have cut the ring in half. Absolutely. Nice teamwork by this odd couple. And nice teamwork by the odd couple indeed. Felix and uh, Oscar doing some work tonight. Wow, nice, JV. I'm surprised you knew about the original odd couple. I'm the smartest man in the room. Why wouldn't I? You're not the oldest, though. thought that was a bit before your time, and now it looks like Josh Carey working that arm. Oh, huge elbow right there to the ribs, too. Focusing that attack on two points now. The shoulder and the ribs. He's going to crack one of He's those He's got ribs. a stomach claw. A la Kevin Von Erich. And wow. Baron Von Raschke, Killer Kowalski, many have used that stomach claw to victory. I haven't seen that in a very long time. Neither have I. And oh, my goodness, knees and kicks to the back of the head. Able to get out of that hold was Los Mochi Paco. Hunter Gray looks like he's out on his feet right now. Yes, that is indeed the case, but... Uh, Los Mochis Paco almost making the tag to Junior X, but cut off again by Josh Carey. And a huge headbutt from Hunter Gray. That's got to be the hardest part in his body coming right down on Los Mochis Paco's breadbasket. Two, almost a three count. I don't know how he kicked out of that. And now Hunter Gray once again showing his dominance. And oh, wait a minute now, Los Mochi Paco ducks it! Oh, yes! Huge head scissor takeover. And I don't know if you could see it, but the look on Hunter's face just about said any, everything. There is nobody home right now. All Paco has to do is get back to his feet and get this pin or get the tag into Junior X. Well, indeed, Hunter Gray's equilibrium was compromised on that move. At the Huracurana by by Los Mochis Paco, but again, Paco continues to receive a beating by Hunter Gray and Josh Carey. It wasn't enough offense to keep 
Hunter Gray down even. I thought it was enough to keep him down. The big man surprising us all. Might be going to the well one time too often here. No. No, he's turned it into a submission move. Ducks the clothesline. Another head scissor takedown. And Hunter Gray and Josh Carey get introduced to each other courtesy of Los Mochi Paco. And now he reaches out to Junior X for the tag. Can he get it? Come on, Paco. Come on. Come on, Gray. Make sure he doesn't get that tag in. If he gets that tag, this match might be over. Gray, the tag team championship opportunity is on the line. No. He got it, and here comes the incredible Junior X. See you later, Hunter Gray. Both men out right now. It looks like Junior X might fly here. Wait a minute. Come on now. Hunter Gray has got to look out. You don't need to do this, X. You don't need to do this. Wait a minute, Josh Carey now getting back into the ring, and X now attacking Josh Carey. Josh Carey was trying to take advantage there. You can't really blame him, and oh my, wow. the referee almost in the wrong part of town. A huge clothesline. Another clothesline. And, and the incredible Junior X, wait a minute, he's going for the boom boom. Oh, yes. He that delivered it. How many times have we seen Junior X do this? I don't know, but how many times have we seen Hunter Gray do that? Oh my, now Hunter Gray picking up the almost lifeless Junior X after that huge clubbing-like forearm. Has him in a torture rack almost now. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, wait a minute, Josh oh. Carey gets hit. Miscommunication there, and oh! And the referee got taken down. There's nobody on their feet right now except for Hunter Gray. Hunter Gray now checking on Josh Carey. Maybe not the smartest move. Allowing Los Mochi Paco and Junior X and, to wait a minute. And what is Junior X doing with the helmet? Junior X that, has. That was rings. That, that wasn't even near the ring. He is stealing. This is larceny. And, and, and no one's going to do anything about it. These fans are going to cheer it. This is larceny right here. Well, larceny, whatever you want. I, I call it a little bit of tomfoolery, AK, excuse me, uh, a la the, the 801 district here. It, now, wait a minute. He throws that helmet. Is it the 801 district's helmet? Then what are they doing with it? Los Mochi Paco has the helmet on. What is going on here? Oh. A battering ram. And that is that has got to be considered a weapon. I don't know what you consider it, but it sure did some damage on Hunter Gray. This is this is a huge miscarriage of justice right now. Hey, you've said it before. The ref didn't see it. What's going on here? Oh! But, but the video is showing it right now. Commissioner Cassidy has to do something about this. Hunter Gray just tombstoned his own opponent, and now Hunter Gray gets DDT'd by by Junior X. Now what's going on? Looks like they're going to the high rent district again. It might be stereo. Oh, it's going to be in stereo. Wow, no, we've seen this before. Here we go. And Boom! A guillotine leg drop with that splash. That might be it. Here comes the referee. It's over. A huge miscarriage of justice there. Yeah, absolutely huge miscarriage. How is that referee Ladies even competent to make it count? Here are your winners and number one contenders, the 801 District. And look at these, look at these morons applauding them. They cheated. They, they used a weapon to get the victory. A weapon. Hard fought match by the former champions, the 801 district, now number one contenders, it looks like, for the UCW Zero Belts. After using a weapon, it wasn't even ringside. It was at the timekeeper's table. They had no business taking that helmet. Business or no business, they walk away with a victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, there they are. Los Mochi Paco, the incredible Junior X, and we'll be right back. Commissioner with... Cassidy, you got to do something. We'll see you in two and two, folks. Oh, my.
UPR Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero, Utah's best live pro wrestling action in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the UCW Training Center, 47 South Orange Street. Oops, I just got a, uh, if I could make a word of wisdom. I'm not Mormon. Oh, words of, well, thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just got an announcement from the back that Commissioner Cassidy has made the main event for February show. Now, February show is called Mochi Palooza, and the 801 district will face the HR nightmare in a Moochieville street fight. What does that mean? It means this. The only way you walk out with the tag team belts at Moochiepalooza is to make sure your opponents don't walk out without assistance. So make sure you are here in February for our next show. Be sure and buy your tickets online. Don't forget about February, excuse me, March the 12th, it's UCW night at Grizzlies Hockey. Make sure you are there. Make sure you're here in February for Mochi Palooza. UCW is all over this valley, and we want you to participate. And now, are you ready for the main event? Yeah. Yeah. Japanese intro. I said, are you ready for the main event, ladies and gentlemen? This next match is a triple threat match. And it is main event time. We have a huge triple threat match. There you see my pick, one of my picks to win this match right here, Bronson, a man that very easily could have been the champion last month at season's beatings looking to get a bit of retribution here in 2016 if you'll pardon the pun and, and look at that almost almost crazed look of determination on Bronson Apparently, they've doubled his dosage to help him focus this month. Still doesn't seem to help. And here comes someone with absolutely zero chance of winning the championship that is Manny Fresh. Yes, he is a former champion, but the, the odds are just stacked against him tonight. He tapped out last month to the Coquina Clutch at the hands of Dante Acosta. Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien and CEO Special Referee Stevie Slick were there to call the action right down the middle. They both they both heard Manny Fresh verbally tap out to that coquina clutch, and that is why Dante Acosta is your champion right now. And here he is, making his way out right now. He is your UCW Zero heavyweight champion, Dante Acosta, a man that I am disappointed I did not get to work with earlier during Retribution in the commentary booth, but there you see the champ. You look primed, you look ready. Show him why you're the champ tonight, Dante. There you see the UCW Zero champion in the first of what will be surely many, many defenses. He, he, He's got to be one of the. He's got to be one of the favorites to win this match right now. 
And there you see, he doesn't give two squirts what the fans care about him. Those 20 hours of hard work those fans put together in spelling boo with that fine Utah education of theirs. And, and just take that image in. Take the image of your champion, Dante Acosta, in and get used to it. Learn to love it because it's going to be here for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a triple threat match for the UCW Zero Heavyweight Championship. Green Man, the, the champ who was going to destroy John Cena. Oops, I, I mean Manny Fresh and Bronson from just from, from just from just inside your girlfriend? Who oh. is the UCW Zero Champion, Dante Acosta? Yes, and just drink it in, folks. That man, Dante Acosta, or Bronson, will be walking out with that championship tonight. The odds are stacked against Manny Fresh. And what is this quizzical look you are giving me Dante Acosta is the champion. You should give him the respect and introduction he deserves. This is why I didn't have you introduce Angel Trinity. That's a ridiculous introduction. You can't say that kind of stuff in front of kids. Uh, he just did, and you just did, so. Calling for the bell, referee Philip Chatwin is, and there it is. Triple threat match here tonight. The main event, JV, UCW Zero Championship Wrestling. Manny Fresh, the insane one, Bronson, and the champion, Dante Acosta. Before this thing gets heated up, though, I want to make sure you check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. I want to thank our sponsors here tonight. Our sponsors, of course, La Frontera uh, Restaurant, McNeil Engineering, and we've got wrestling action right now, JV, with a nice arm drag by the former champion, Manny Fresh. And there you see Dante Acosta, the champion, doing the smart thing, just standing on the outside, letting these two wear each other out and take the beating to them. I was saying it earlier, Bronson and Dante have to be, have to be the favorites in this match. The, st the odds are stacked against Manny Fresh here, and... It's going to be Bronson or Dante Acosta walking out with this belt. I, Let, let's just admit it. You know, maybe, but maybe not. I mean, personalities oftentimes in triple threat matches like this can get out of control. I mean, every competitor, JV, wants to win that belt. Don't be surprised. Oh, my God. Oh. And my Bronson. God, what a move by Bronson. And Bronson showing right there exactly what he's willing to do to get that championship. And, and now, as you said, the personality conflict getting in the way, although it looks like they've. There it is. See what I mean? Wait a minute. Oh, oh. good God. Vicious move there from Dante Acosta, and now he's laying the beating to Manny Fresh. He's taking advantage when both men are down. He is the only man on his feet right now is the champion, Dante Acosta. Laying the leather to the former champion, Manny Fresh, is the current champion, Dante Acosta. The man that Dante Acosta beat fair and square in the middle of the ring for that championship, mind you. He had that coquina clutch wrapped tight. And referee Stevie Slick and Commissioner Cassidy O'Brien both heard him verbally tap. I think it was a screw job. You know it was a screw job, JV. And yeah. he did not tap out. And Manny we, Fresh would not. We, he, he said, I quit. I've seen the video. I've heard the audio. He quit. Obviously, the trip to the optometrist is in, your, is in order for you because that's not at all what I saw. Maybe a trip to the optometrist is in order for you. And oh, oh, good God, did you hear that, JV? I saw it and I heard it. My goodness, Dante Acosta slammed into that concrete. There you see, there's no padding out here, folks. It is all concrete here at the UCW Zero Arena. Well, so I, I doubt he's going to be able to get up so much for... Uh, so much for the title reign of Dante Acosta. I don't think he's going to get up from that. He is down for a long time, if not for the entire match. He's definitely he's definitely going to have his work cut out for him, even getting back to his feet. I, that was a sickening, sickening smack and thud that Dante Acosta hit the mat, hit the floor with. Excuse me, and I thought I saw him stirring around there. Spinning calf kick by Bronson, the insane one. Now JV, tell us. 
I don't think Bronson has to be pinned in this match. Triple threat rules? Triple threat rules. Bronson, uh, Dante Acosta does not need to be pinned in this match for him to lose a championship. So now, at, now that it's a singles match, almost uh, virtually, Anyway, Bronson is in the advantage here. He could take the championship right here if he can get Manny Fresh to tap out again or stay down for a three count. I disagree with the again. Manny Fresh never tapped out, but again, you're exactly right, JV. Any man can pin any man, and that man who pins the other man with that pin, I'm talking about the pin in the middle of the ring, takes home that belt. Or a submission. You get him to submit, it's just as good. No disqualification in this match as well. Anything goes. And honestly, partner, this was, this was the one I was looking forward to all night. Other than, of course, the title defense of Angel Trinity, the successful title defense, I mind you. This was the match I was looking forward to all night because it's just three of the best and brightest UCW Zero has to offer going at it. And... Dante Acosta now back in control here after taking a sickening fall to the outside. And, oh! You might remember Angel Trinity lost that match. Enough of that, though. I mean, Dante Acosta almost retained his belt right there on Manny Fresh. He, I don't know how Dante Acosta's in there, quite frankly. He, he almost retained that belt just like Angel Trinity retained her belt. And now it looks like Dante Acosta oh. setting up with Super Bronson. Kick. Oh, it looked like it was going for that Sava kick there. Bronson had it scouted. As I was saying earlier, I, ta I talked to uh, Dr. Jeremy. They doubled, doubled Bronson's dosage this month to help him focus. And I'm not, it wow. seems to have been helping, but everyone was focused on that kick right now. I think it knocked some chiclets loose. But it was too powerful. Bronson doing the smart thing, rolling out of the ring, creating distance between himself and Acosta. Fresh sees it coming. Manny Fresh now showing his strength as he throws the champion across the ring. Manny Fresh, huge, he can get up here. He may have a chance, JV. Huge overhead slam there from Manny Fresh. And even I got to admit, he might have a chance here. He definitely has the strength advantage of the three men in here, of the three men in the match. He might even have the conditioning advantage, as much as I hate to say it, with how much he's on the practice field, even though he's... Uh, not the greatest wide receiver in the world. Two-sport athlete is Manny Fresh, semi-professional football player, professional wrestler, former champion, and he really is an active young man, a great athlete. In fact, two two great athletes in the ring, a crazy man on the outside of the ring who and will that do crazy anything. Man, that crazy man is a crazy good athlete as well. Absolutely he is. I'm not going to take anything away from Bronson, that's for sure. And there you see Dante Acosta taking those forearms into the corner. Acosta is relentless in the attack, and he's got to watch his back now if he wants to hold on to that title because Bronson has him in his sights, and I don't think Acosta realized it until just now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think, talk about chiclets, I thought I saw one fall out of oh. Manny Fresh's mouth, and oh my goodness. Yeah, I definitely saw something fly out of Manny Fresh's mouth, and there you see Bronson killing two birds with one stone there. Bronson is he's out of control. He and is out of control, ladies and gentlemen, and that's exactly how he functions 24-7. He is raining down with insanity right now, to use a pun. To almost had a new wow, champion we there. did. We did. Can you imagine this crowd if Bronson wins? I mean, Cade with the Ultra X title, Bronson with the heavyweight title. I, I'm not sure what the next show is going to look like. Uh, it, it, it could. It, the reign of insane could very well live up to their names by the end of this night. Absolutely. Now Bronson slapping away at the former champion, insulting him. Yeah, I was going to say it might not do much physical damage, but that psychological damage will do a ton there and that has been the game of the reign of insane since almost the summer uh, that they've been going after manny fresh they've messed with his head every way they could they kidnapped the man's son oh wow oh my goodness a huge hurt of conrana there from manny fresh i didn't even know he was capable of i that. did not either he shows us new things each and every time he gets in that ring which means he spends a lot of time in that ring practicing his profession, honing his craft. And now, wait a minute. He does, and and the guy. Oh, wow. Huge, innovative offense there from Dante Acosta. Now these guys, almost everyone is starting to use their heads right now. 
and making sure that their offense takes out not just one, but both opponents. It, it's, it's actually quite a it, it, brilliant strategy from all three men. Referee Philip Chatwin now on, looks like on six right now. All three competitors beginning to make their way and up. And that would be the only way this match could w end without a winner is if all three men stayed down for a 10 count and it becomes a no contest at that point. Firing with lefts and rights, three competitors in the middle of the ring. Dante Acosta up to his feet first, now Bronson, and now Manny Fresh. And Manny Fresh is fighting them both off, it looks like. And now Acosta going back and forth with those chops. Oh, oh Double chop by both Manny Fresh and Bronson sends the champion crashing. Oh, wait a minute Taste now. Taste of his own medicine. Bronson looked to be on the attack there. That unorthodox style of Bronson finds the finds him, he and, and, and Manny Fresh now on the concrete, ladies. I'm not sure if our cameras, there they are. There you yeah. see it. There you see it indeed. And oh my goodness, the champion with a huge corkscrew plancha wow. showing us all right now why he is the UCW heavyweight champion. I'm not gonna lie, that was a great athletic maneuver to say the least. I mean, not too many athletes in the world can produce that kind of move like Dante Acosta. That and was, here you hear the crowd. That was a huge move there from the champion showing why he's the champion. Dante. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a little jealous that you got to work with him earlier this evening. I, 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 would, I would kill for the chance to work with Dante Acosta. Well, you know, I, did not, I can't say I enjoyed it. I mean, the man is cocky. All he thinks about is himself. Well, he, he should. He's the UCW Zero champion. And, oh! oh. There's that. Looks that. Like, That's that, that, that looks finisher. Like, that looks like the CX03, that backpack cutter, whatever you want to call it there. And it has him right. And Dante Acosta using the brains, puts him right into that arm bar. Fresh hasn't submitted yet. Bronson is still on the outside. This could be the opening Acosta was looking for to retain the championship, just like I said he would. If Manny Fresh gives, it's over. Now, wait a minute. Now he's got him in a Kimura lock. That's the same lock that they that they screwed fresh with last time. We got a real ref in there now. Oh! oh good God, I think Manny Fresh's arm would had to have been broken right there, that, JV. That had to have broken the forearm there. The, the force and angle of the Kimura hold combined with the, combined with the weight, and now he's got a Kimura on Bronson. He does. It's the, it's the same move that, that they screwed Manny Fresh with. We got a real ref in there tonight, though. Come on. Let's see what happens. This could be it. Dante we had, could. Oh, yeah. We, had, we had a real referee in there last month, too. We I don't did know what not. You're, I don't know what you're trying to insinuate. I'm trying to insinuate that Manny Fresh was screwed last week. You know it, and I know it, JV. The CEO, Stevie Slick, and Cassidy O'Brien made sure everything was run down the middle. We might see the champion retain here. Oh, huge reversal there from Bronson. Nice wrestling move by Bronson. Now goes big punch to the stomach, and he once again pulls Bronson in. Looks like for a maybe a pile driver. Oh, oh, good God, did you see that? I did see that. I saw the vertebrae in Dante Acosta's neck wrinkle up like an accordion and squeeze. That's the cover. Folks, this may do it and a save by Manny Fresh. At the last possible second, Manny Fresh keeping this match going, doing the only thing he could to keep it going. And you have to admire the tenacity of the man. Triple threat matches are always some of the most difficult matches to call as announcers, JV. I'm sure you will agree the action is nonstop. And just when you think things are over, things are beginning again. Exactly what exactly what you said, partner. A difficult match to keep track of because there is so much oh, action. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. That familiar move of music of... Uh, Cassidy O'Brien again. Cassidy O'Brien making sure once again the match is called down the middle. Oh, wait a minute now. Bronson just hit Manny fresh. He gave him a cross shot. He's picking Manny up. What happened there? And oh, another huge pile driver. This could be it. It's over. It is over. Ladies and gentlemen. The reign of insane has just taken two belts tonight, and Bronson is the new heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and new 
UCW Zero Champion, Bronson! I called it at the beginning of the match. I said it was going to be that man or Dante Acosta as a champion. I called it earlier in the show during the Ultra Championship match that it was going to be the Reign of Insane's night. Insanity is just beginning here at UCW Zero. And let it rain down. I never thought I would see this day. Sure, tag team titles, they work well together. But now, they hold all the singles gold here at UCW Zero. They are the epitome of singles wrestling here in Ultra Championship Wrestling Zero and the reign of insane are gonna be holding those singles championships for a long, long time. And I've gotta wonder what Cassidy O'Brien thinks about this. I don't know if any commissioner, any manager, any wrestler in the back can control the behavior of these two, it, JB. It's gonna be a huge party at the asylum tonight. Extra Valium and Clonopin for everybody. Absolutely. Oh, how do you know those medications? Are you on them? Oh, I forgot, you're the smartest guy here, right? Of course. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Bronson, the new UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion. His best friend, as he informed me, corrected me, Kane in the middle of the ring with the UCW Zero Ultra X Championship. Dante Acosta, the former champion, a short-lived championship for Acosta as he lays in the middle of that ring. He gave it everything he could, but at the end, Bronson's strategy was just too much. That pile driver, one of the best in wrestling today, it'll lay anyone out. Bronson now triumphantly walking around the ring. Dante Acosta has nothing to be ashamed of. Manny Fresh, maybe. Maybe he should be ashamed that he was distracted by music. You gotta, you gotta remain focused on, on the task at hand. And that is why that man right there is your new UCW Zero Heavyweight Champion. Folks, if you've never been here before to a live wrestling event, both JV and I want to welcome you in February from Mochi Palooza for all the tag team gold. Mochi. We are gonna get out of here, JV. It's been a pleasure, I think. It's been an eventful night. It's been a great night. The reign of insane has officially begun. We will see you in February. Deacon of Doom, JV, we'll see you there.